It's kids. Tell me. As I speak to you, my brothers, my sisters, my car is still at the police station. As I speak to you right now, I've not seen my family. I am scared of going back home. My mother is looking for me. My mother is crying. She has seen the video. She does not believe that I'm still alive. I am the breadwinner of my family. Without me, there will be no food on the table. I have been struggling to survive. Why do you want to bring down my sweat? Why do you want to kill me? Do you want my innocent mother to suffer? I am suffering because of my mother. Nollywood actress Ivan Okoro don't cry come out again for the second time talk say her life still day in danger this time she even did more scared because the people went day after her life last week about the movie when she produced Bingo Madness they still day very much after her life and she did scared to come out because she no one die this time it even worse because they they Add Destiny Etiku join the matter. According to her, which the video I go release now, when I go see where they for the threatening even Okoro, say may she just they run for her life. Say because if they catch her, now another thing we go hear. And will she still release the audio where the lady for the tech people may they go report this movie, Bingo Madness. May they bring down a YouTube channel. This is very bad anyway, and I feel so bad. I feel so sorry for even Okoro. According to her she's the breadwinner of her family and more, moreover now small money now she even get for this movie when she produced anyway we're gonna leave on our prayers for her and every cast and crew when be said they act that movie together and made this video go viral to the appropriate authorities we go be say go take this case for this girl make she day her life make she safe and come out safe so my people thank you so much this is violet bass tv thank you to all all my return is for coming back to watch my video and if this is your first time coming across my video thank you so much please hit on the subscribe button and remember to put up the post notification bell i'll see you on my next video just watch the clip from ivan okoro thank you hello everyone my name is ivan okoro <coughs> i want to use this great opportunity to thank each and every one of you that has been praying for me. Thank you. God bless you all. A lot of people say that my cry out video was a stunt that was only trying to attract more views on my YouTube. But that is not true. I was actually attacked. But thank God I survived it. But I am here to tell you guys what's really happened. I have evidence to show for it. But before that, please, I want to say something straight. Destiny Etiko is innocent. I am telling you guys that attacked me and those evil agencies out there. She is innocent. She was only paid to do her job. And so as other people that participated in my movie, titled Bigo Madness, please, I beg you in the name of God, fight me and leave them alone. I produced this movie single-handedly. No one sponsored it. It was not sponsored by anyone. I produced it with my money. Let's look at this voice note. Listen to it. Evan Sokoro and pretty CEO and Destiny Etiko and inspired agency, they have conspired to just destroy the image of Bigo in Nigeria. And let me warn most of you, in the so-called uh, uh, video that, uh, I mean the so-called movie that they are acting, that they called promoting Bigo, they said, you can do anything, you can even do camera down. And at the same time, some, I mean, I mean, some useless phrases was also used in this movie. How is it promoting Bigo? I want to understand. Are you destroying Bigo? Are you pro why are you coming to say 
somebody can make 400,000 on this app. People make millions on this app, we know, saying that we attract the government to look into the app. And it will warrant that you as a host will be paying some tax earning such money. And it will also warrant that bigger as well, we also will be, I mean, I mean, be paying some tax. Do you understand? Bigo will be paying some tax to the government for making such money in Nigeria. Why paying Nigeria such money too? So to, I mean, I mean, for we to, let me say, bring justice to this useless video that Destiny Etiko, seconded by Pretty CEO, and Evans Okoro, seconded by Inspired Agency, for we to bring this video down, Destiny Etiko and Evan Okoro will face a lawsuit from Bigo. Bigo should sue Evan Okoro and Destiny Etiko and, and the so-called useless demonic agency that brought them on Bigo. And let's not forget that some principal officers in this Bigo are involved in this. I have to say it. Wahab is involved in this. I contacted Wahab and told Wahab that look at what is going on. Wahab did nothing but to take away my Bigo family. I, wait, and, and I haven't had time for him because I was waiting on this video because I know that surely this video must come out. And I have the screenshot where I want Wahab of this earlier. I sent this to Wahab. I told Wahab, look at what is going on. And the response that Wahab gave to me was to shut down my bigger family. And I haven't responded to him because I was waiting for this. Now, this goes to other managements who are seeing this. If you still need to keep this business up and running, your people must bring these people to justice. They are all on Bigo, still hosting on this app, and they are being kept mod. Is it that what they did is good, or is it that what they did is acceptable to your company? I want to understand why these girls brought in these people to tarnish the image of Bigo. Upon how Bigo has been helping many Nigerians who don't have job or who their job doesn't pay so well and they are making it from this app. Why is it that these two agencies, Inspired Agency and Pretty CEO Agency, why is it that two of them want to destroy Bigo by bringing in these two guests? And why is it that after the warning that was given to these two useless and hopeless and hungry celebrities why is it that after the warning that was given to them they still went ahead and produced this movie to tarnish the image of bigo they are doing their movie and nobody is tarnishing their image in their movie career why are they coming to destroy what people are benefiting from is this thing why nigeria uh, 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 so-called nollywood actors is this why they jumped into this app is it to destroy bigo we watch their movie, we subscribe on their channels, and they still come here to destroy Bigo. This thing should not be taken lightly. Anybody involved in this, their Bigo IDs, they should, I mean, I mean, they should face a lawsuit from this app for using the name of this app as wait. As guys, how would I even put it? For using the name of this app as a very disgusting place for our youth to be. We are our youth goes naked, we are our youth do camera down and all that nonsense. Why will it be so? So I call on all admins of this Bigo and the owner of Bigo as well to look into this. For all these people, they deserve a serious punishment. Because if this thing keeps happening, I'm sorry for this company in Nigeria. My agency was never aware of my production. I shot this movie with my money. How can you be how I don't I don't I don't know what they are even hiding from this platform that I don't know because I know the big goal that I joined is a wonderful app. It has helped so many people. So why are they scared? I don't know. Why are you trying to fight the government when you are corrupt as well? You want... Why are you trying to fight the government when you are corrupt as well? Why? You're fighting an innocent soul like me. Okay, fine. 
let's listen to the second voice note. A woman, let's listen to her. Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm not really a fan of nagging about things. So please, I would like you all to take this as politely as you can, but please keep to this I'm asking you to do. This video, up until yesterday, I've not said anything about this movie they made of Big O Live. I've been quiet about it because I don't know what they're acting. I just want the video to or the movie to be out. Then we'll decide. But obviously, for what I've seen in this movie, it's not encouraging at all. One, our youth are not even going to be impressed. Our parents won't be impressed by what they watch in this video because I know personally, my family know about me and Big O Business. So they, they believe and trust me so much that they don't think this app is a bad app. But whatever this movie is teaching or the message is passing, it's going to give a message of we're doing things that we don't do on this app, really. So because of this, I'm actually against this movie, number one. Number two, they call the amount people make in a month 2 million 400 K, which we know that it is not so well, like people don't make this kind of amount, like, like at a flame of an, of, of, or a tickle of an eye. They are trying to like tarnish the image of this app. Okay. So I'm posting this so you all can go and report this movie, please report the movie, drop it, a, a bad comment. Because is is um is it character assassination or whatever? I don't know the name they call it. Okay, give it dislike, a thumbs down, drop in a, a comment that's that is against it, saying this is not what this app is about. They are passing the wrong message. And then please report it so that they can at least take this movie down before it gets to the authorities. We all know if our 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 government hear about 2 million 400 k in a month one person is receiving they're going to come with us paying tax this app might be gone we're really going through a lot already but then this one so please let's peacefully just do this report drop a comment that they're passing a the wrong message about this app and please give it a thumbs down even on their instagram page you can also do the same please and on the YouTube. I had to share the link here for easy access so you all can go do this, please. Every agency owner has been asked to do this and I'm doing this because this is against what we do on this app, really. The app is not so addictive that we burn food on fire, that we don't run errands for our parents, that we don't do our normal daily job. I've been on this app for two years, but I still operate my business. My shop still stand, I still go to work. I still do my normal daily activity. Yes, we make money on this app, but we don't make it as, as easy as they, they make it seem. They're giving a bad name, so please, you guys should do this. Did you hear that? My fellow woman sending people to come and report my YouTube account, my Instagram account just because of their selfish interests how can you be so selfish how can you be so wicked to your fellow woman why i am still scared i am scared of going back home i am still hiding from these people they came to kill me the day they attacked me they were after my laptop and my hard drive he was asking me for my laptop and my, and my hard drive. I told him that I don't have any hard drive with me. I don't have any laptop with me in front of my gate. I fussed like a man. I fussed them. I am a woman, but I have a strong, I have a, I have a strong bone. As God may have it, I survived and I escaped. Tell me. As I speak to you, my brothers, my sisters, my car is still at the police station. 
As I speak to you right now, I've not seen my family. I am scared of going back home. My mother is looking for me. My mother is crying. She has seen the video. She does not believe that I'm still alive. I am the breadwinner of my family. Without me, there will be no food on the table. I have been struggling to survive. Why do you want to bring down my sweat? Why do you want to kill me? Do you want my innocent mother to suffer? I am suffering because of my mother. How much do I make from the most movie that I produce? At the end of the day, after spending millions shooting movie, I will only make 100,000 naira. I struggle to survive and you want to kill me. You want to kill the breadwinner of the family. I don't have help. Please, if you know you have conscience, if you know you want justice for me, if you want, if you know you want to see me back, because I don't know, I don't even know my fate right now. Because I am going crazy. They hit my chest. They hit my breasts just to weaken me. I am not breathing fine. My breasts, they swell. So I speak to you, I am feeling pain inside me. I cannot breathe very well. <sighs> if you know you want justice for everyone, Okoro, if you know that what they did to me is not okay, please share this video. Let the right person that will take up this case take it because I cannot take it anymore. I am the breadwinner of my family. I have nobody to fight for me. Right now, I am still hiding. I don't know where to go from here. I don't want my career to die for nothing. 